What is up Yu-Gi-Oh fans, I am of course the Joker and today on my channel I am going to be doing my first ever last month in Yu-Gi-Oh news talk as well as what's going to be happening this month in Yu-Gi-Oh that of the new sets that are going to be coming out and also what has been announced for us this coming month and what to expect on what's actually going to happen. So with this video I am really excited to do this, I'm, this is the first time I'm ever doing this. I might do this at the end of every single month if you guys really do like this video, I'm happy to do this video, you know, keep us all informed, keep us helping, but without further ado, let's just get right into it. So with this month we actually got four new archetypes that came out because of the circuit break that set that came out. I already did a video on that, you know, we got Otter Guys, we got Crawlers, we got the Rockets, and we also got the Metaphys, and there will be pictures of most of this stuff right here or right there, either side of me. If it's really important, of course, I'll put a picture right there so you guys can easily see it, but you know, if you want to check out the full description of that video, if you haven't already, there'll be a link to that in the description down below, so make sure to check that out if you really want to. But also, the other thing we got was the Dragons of Legend deck box and this was really nice to see you know we got the cyber dragons with this we got the dark magicians and we also got some odd eyes cards which was really nice to see i didn't personally pick this up because a lot of it was reprints but for a beginner player this can really help you out and of course if you didn't pick it up it's probably going to be a lot cheaper now i've seen it go cheaper at my local shop so hopefully it's all cheaper for you guys and if you really do want to pick it up i definitely suggest doing so especially if you're a new beginner or you just want to be playing those decks but then moving on from that, the other thing that did happen this, sorry, last month was YCS Dallas, as a lot of you will know. And what did, of course, happened at YCS Dallas? Spirals overtook the entire place because of one of the new cards that they got in Circuit Break, which was Spiral Double Helix. This card is absolutely ridiculous, and everyone played Spirals for the entire thing. Like, seriously, the, at the top spots, it was all Spirals against Spirals. If you were in the top... 16 and wasn't running a spiral deck you were considered one of the odd ones out i mean seriously but the fact that everyone kept on running spirals and spirals actually topped that of course led to there being an emergency ban list which will be active on the 6 there'll be a link to that list in the description down below i wasn't going to do i wasn't actually going to do a whole talk on this because you know we got the two of the cards that spiral needs really badly which was drone and Quick Fix Limited, we got Gofu Limited, which really does suck. I mean, the fact that this card is getting limited is absolutely annoying. I mean, it does make complete sense, but I did use it a lot of my decks. So if any of you want me to update any of my decks where I've done the whole Gofu play zone so much, I'll be happy to do it. I mean, some decks, because of this, are definitely probably dead. I mean, DDDs, I don't think they're ever coming back now. I really tried to keep that deck alive and strong because it is one of my favorite decks, but... Because of this ban list that's coming out on the 6th, and it's going to be active on the 6th, I really don't think DD is coming back from that, so that really does suck, but you know, that's just how it goes, and to all of you that are playing Spirals or were playing Spirals, I really feel sorry for you guys, because you know, you probably spent so much money, and if you did, comment down below how much money you spent, I'm really curious, like, I'm pretty sure the most I've ever heard someone spend on this deck was like $400, which is absolutely insane, but you know, if you love the deck, why not play it? But because of the whole quick fix scale limited and the whole fact of drawing game limited, the machine duplication play wasn't isn't available anymore. So you can't go for that awesome play to then go into spiral double helix so quickly. I mean, you can use double summon and all that, but that's just so much cringy. It's just so cringy because you're bricking your deck so much and you're bricking your hands to try and play this deck. So I mean, if you can revive it. I mean, good luck to you, and if you guys actually want me, like, if you want me to do that challenge of try to make this deck revived, you know, I will, I will be happy to do it, why not? It might take me a little bit, but, you know, if you guys really want to see any of that, make sure to comment down below, of course, you know, if I'm able to, I will be happy to, because that's just what I love doing. I love reviving these decks that are really hard to play, I mean, I love doing it with DDDs, I'm sure I love doing it with Spirals, I mean, it's just a really fun thing to do. So, of course, that's what happened with YCS Dallas, Spirals took over. Led to an emergency ban list, which is going to be active on the 6th. I mean, today, of course, is the 3rd, where I am. It's Friday the 3rd. So, we've you've still got Monday, where I am, to run that deck. So, you've still got the weekend. But, I mean, after that, you're not going to be able to play it with the Quick Flicks play and all that. So, you're going to probably need to change up the deck. But, good luck to you if you really want to do that. And, hopefully, you do still find a lot of fun out of it. 
And apart from that, that's all that really happened this month. You know, we got some new sets. It was really nice. Spirals overtook. Spirals went to YCS Dallas and overtook. It, that, that's pretty much the whole news. It was just Spirals taking over. But now what's coming up with this month? And I did do, you know, we got the new Cybers deck profile. And I uploaded this late last night. I came home as quick as I could, tried to upload it. My internet was being slow. And for that, I'm really, really sorry for all of you that really wanted to see that. But of course, that still went up last night, and if you guys want to check that out, but it's even going to be like, depending on what time zone you are, it's like late last night, early the morning, so it's like a bonus video for you guys. I did it when it was Thursday, but you know, it takes a while for me to upload videos sometimes, which really does suck, but you know, I did do that video, I did open it up, and if you guys want to see a budget deck profile like that, you know, I'm happy to do that, I did say that in the video. If you want to check that out, there'll be a link to that in the description down below. So there's going to be a lot of links to different things in the description down below. But whichever you want to check out, just make sure you do, and it's going to be right there for you. And the other thing that's happened with being announced is the new set, which is Spirit Warriors. Now, Spirit Warriors has been announced that we'll be getting it on November the 17th. Sorry, my nose was itchy. November the 17th, which is really nice. This deck is going. This set is bringing out the new deck, which is Magi Bullets, or as we're getting them called, the stupid name of Magical Musketeers. Well done, Konami. Just congratulations on creating a terrible name. Magical Musketeers. I mean, if you like that, I uh, don't know. Um, but yes, that's what we're going to be getting on November the 17th. Now, this box, if I've got the money, I'll be happy to open it up. It just depends on the cash it's at the point of time. Sometimes I've got a lot, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what's coming up during the meantime. But, you know, it is a really nice set to pick up because it's going to be having the magical musketeers and even if they're called that, I still want to be called a magic bullet. So I might mix that up a few times, but you know, that's just what's going to be expected. And the last thing I want to be bringing up is something that's been announced quite recently, which is the legendary Dawless Ancient Millennial deck box. And I'll be putting a picture of this up. Now, as I said, there's going to be a pictures of different things that I'm talking about side to side. It depends on how relevant they are. It depends on if I've already talked about them. But, you know, this I'm definitely going to put a picture up. I even want to put it right, like, over here. I don't know, somewhere around me. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the fact of seeing this because it comes with Pegasus cards. And, I mean, I love Toons. The fact that they're getting revived. I'm absolutely loving this. The fact that We've got some villains, and if you can see the pop vinyls behind me, if you can see the ornaments, I am a villain supporter. Like, I go for villains 24-7, the villains are absolutely amazing. So, I mean, I didn't get the legendary duelist one with Yugi and all that stuff, but I'm probably going to be getting this one next year. This thing is just absolutely amazing. It comes out on Friday the 23rd, so that's really nice to see. And if you guys want to pick that up, you know, make sure to keep an eye out for that next year, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. And hopefully, if I do get it, you know, stay tuned for that video. But, you know, that's actually it for all the announcements that's happened for this month and what's going to be expected on this upcoming month. If more stuff comes up, you know, I'll be happy to make a video or I'll just put some more comments at the bottom of this video. So, hopefully you guys did like this video, you know. Hopefully that you do enjoy some of the new sets that are coming out. And as I said, if you want to check out any of the things that I've talked about, there'll be links to them in the description down below. So, make sure you check them out. If you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you haven't already. And of course, as always, if there is any other deck, tip, or video in general that you guys want me to make, feel free to comment that idea right down below. And of course, if I'm able to make it, I'll be happy to make it, because that's just what I'm here to do. I am the Joker, and I'm here to help you guys. I love helping you guys, and I just love having fun. So, till I make that video, until the next one, that of course ends it for me, the Joker.